Hello? I, I'm a Welcome into Kiwo Stadium for tonight's Midwest Premier League matchup between Detroit City FC's under-23 side and Lake St. Clair FC. It's been nearly polar opposite seasons for these two sides. Detroit City FC coming to this one flawless through six games, finding a lot of these games really easy, uh, really just putting teams down uh, to the sword whenever they had the opportunity. But Lake St. Clair FC have had a tough go of it so far, finding themselves at the bottom of the Midwest Premier League Eastern Division, only having one point after eight matches. See, take a look here at the Detroit City FC under 23 starting 11. Coach Javi has gone with a 4-2-3-1 as he's done for most of these games this season. Sean Ellis making his first ever start here for Detroit City FC between the sticks. The Gross Point Park, Michigan native. Pretty standard back line for Detroit City FC under 23. Josh Waits and James Lee back there anchoring the Detroit City FC defense. Look out for Keith Larson up front in this one. Of course, Shion Soga has been the creative linchpin in this Detroit City FC midfield. He's going to look to continue that tonight with Bosch Tanny and Kellen Landefeld either side of him. Yeah, Ben Tanny, his brother, and Chow Mazzo back there in that midfield. Final handshakes for both sides. Last preparations here. Detroit City FC probably looking at the table. They're going to have an easy day of it. Anything can happen over 90 minutes, especially here at Keyword Stadium as we see the coin toss taking place. Alexander Plum asking both captains which side they would like, who's going to start with the ball, things like that. James Lee's running over to take his place in the starting 11 photo for social media and Twitter. Detroit City FC team last coming out against Enter Detroit last Saturday in Auburn Hills, defeating them 3-1. to one. James Lee, of course, with the captain's armband. As we see here, Lake St. Clair FC play their home matches at Mount Clemens High School currently. And like I said before, I've had a, had a rough go of it so far this season, looking to right the ship. This one in Keyword Stadium. They know they're up against it, but I could kind of galvanize the squad and say, hey, let's play spoilers for the first time in anyone against Detroit City FC this year. Final preparations. Matt LeBlanc, goalkeeper for Lake St. Clair, is going to take his spot in net. We see Will Grubbs here, the Notre Dame Prep High School midfielder. Towards Detroit City FC in their Rouge and Gold. James Lee, Josh Waits, ready to anchor that back line. They've had a pretty easy go of it this year. It's been over 450 minutes since they've last conceded the goal from open play. That one coming in the 2-1 victory against the Michigan Stars on their opening day of the year. Their inaugural match in the Midwest Premier League. Striker in Detroit City FC 23 talisman Keith Larson. Get ready to get underway here. And he kicks off. We're underway at Keyword Stadium for tonight's matchup in the Midwest Premier League. Detroit City FC have been really effective with this 4-2-3-1 that Coach Javi Bautista has been putting out nearly every match. Find a lot of their successes have come in pressing in midfield situations, pushing their wing backs forward, trying to force turnovers and kill teams quickly on the break. I mentioned the open Shion Soga, kind of been the linchpin in a creative sense for this midfield. Lachlan Hepburn on this near side. Kellen Landefeld, of course, man of the match when Detroit City FC defeated Livonia 5-0 away. Second match of the season. Turnover there, though, from Chow Mazzo. Lake St. Clair have a left-footed strike. First chance of the game goes the way of Lake St. Clair FC. That was Yasu Omori, who played semi-professional soccer in Japan, now finds himself here playing at Kiwo Stadium. One minute in, one shot for Lake St. Clair FC. I mentioned Sean Ellis. First ever start for Detroit City FC's under 23, Kalamazoo College. Should we sit here to their center backs? Detroit City FC's center back, super composed on the ball all season. Not really often you can say that, this level of soccer. So just goes to show the quality that they have in their side. Benedict Haney on the ball. At the Kellen Landefeld, who finds Keith Larson. Keith Larson operates a lot of the time with his back to goal. Trying to get the midfield involved and 
once he gives that ball, tries to go forward and find a 1-2, often breaking the back line of opponents. First at FC, have some space here. Keith Larson's played through. A little bit too much pace on that one. And it goes back the way of Lake St. Clair FC. Turn over there in the midfield. Good job there. Benny Tanny finds Sheon Soga. Takes a few touches. Gets it out wide to Lachlan Hepburn. He's going to have some space edge there. He plays a right footed ball into the box. Arriving at the back post was Brady Walker. He was unable to control that one. That was a rocket coming off the boot there of Brady Walker. Just unable to get it down. Matt LeBlanc was probably a little bit worried about that position. We see Sheon doing a really good job to get it out to Landefeld. Gets it all the way across to Walker who just was arriving on the half volley. A little bit too much on that one. Kellen Landefeld keeping that one in play. But only as far as the midfield for Lake St. Clair FC. Good ball over the top. I'm going to say it was offsides. That was Stennett. Kanyeka, who was through on goal there. Referee put the offside flag up. Lake St. Clair FC are a non-profit 501c3 organization. Currently renovating an old baseball stadium in downtown Mount Clemens into a soccer field. Ball played forward here. Shion Soga wanted to get on the end of that one. Too centralized for his liking. Lake St. Clair FC now just trying to Start this game off right, not let the quality of Fort City FC show here early on. Let's see if they can shorten this game up a little bit. Josh Waits was running onto that one, but it'll go out for a Detroit City FC throw in. Josh Waits, every match starter at Northwood University, all four years, started every single match in four years. Really good center back there, and as we see, Chow Mazza there getting stuck in. James Lee gives the ball away. Back to Lake St. Clair FC. We have the ball on the wing. A few players forward. Referee's going to say that one went out for Detroit City FC throw in. Lake St. Clair, though, has to be happy with the positions they're getting in early in this one. Ball played across. Josh Waits. Lachlan Hepburn. Josh Waits again. Benedict Tanny finds his brother, Bosch Tanny, on the far touch line. He's running forward now. Bosch Tanny, always dangerous when he has his head up running forward. Shion Soga. Back to Benedict Tanny. Misplaced pass there from Brady Walker. Benny Tanny tries his best to keep that one in, but goes out for a Lake St. Clair FC throw in. Trying to go to a long throw in there, but only... As far as Josh Waits, who does well to keep it in and find his teammate, Brady Walker over there. Shion Soga, always playing with the same amount of intensity. He's been one of the most impressive players so far this season for Detroit City FC's under-23 side. Lachlan Hepburn now finds Walker. It's back to Soga. Soga tries to find Keith Larson, unable to do so. Detroit City FC now setting up shop. Chow Mazzo, Benny Tanny, had the run of Shion Soga in front of him, tried to find his brother and said, Bosch Tanny, unable to do so. It gets cut out by the Lake St. Clair back line. Only as far as Mazzo, though. Starting to see some of the quality come through, rise to the top here for Detroit City FC. Pull onto the box by Brady Walker. Only as far as Will Grubbs, though. Chow Mazzo now had a left-footed strike. That was ambitious from him. Of course, Last time this side featured at Keyworth Stadium last Thursday, Chow Mazzo broke the deadlock late in that one to give Detroit City FC the lead. Lachlan Hepburn kept that one in play well enough to earn a corner for Detroit City FC, their first of the match. It was a pretty tight game for Detroit City FC last time they were here at Keyworth Stadium before Chow Mazzo scored a late goal to put him up 1-0. And then Shion Soga doubled that advantage from the penalty spot a few moments later. Corner now for Detroit City FC. 
Left footed ball into the box. Chested. Kept in. Benny Tanny with the left footed effort. Comfortable save there for Matt LeBlanc. The Grand Ledge High School and Siena Heights University incoming freshman. Congratulations to him for committing to Siena Heights. It's Josh Waits runs this one down. Sean Ellis came out there for a second. A little bit of a concern. But no harm, no foul. Brady Walker. Bosch Tandy tries to intercept the ball and able to do so. And Lake St. Clair have some good possession here. Good ball in behind here from Lake St. Clair. It's going to be forced out a little bit wide. And that was a dangerous position for Lake St. Clair to be in there. For Detroit City FC to be in there. Excuse me. As Keith Lois impresses Arnis Besick. Has enough time to play a composed ball. Every single time a Lake St. Clair FC player has a few touches immediately swarmed by a Detroit City FC flock of midfielders. James Lee seems to be everywhere. Hepburn settles it down. Benny Tanny now turns his man. Finds Brady Walker. Advancing on that wing. Of course, Benny Tandy has some minutes for the Detroit City FC Nisa men's first team. He finds his brother Bosch Tandy here through on goal. Referee's going to put his flag up on the near side. That one looked relatively close. Eight and a half minutes gone here. No real chances yet. The most threatening one, that half-footed volley attempt from Brady Walker. Free kick here, blast over the top, just trying to get something to bounce maybe for Lake St. Clair FC. Keith Larson's physicality is going to become a problem for Lake St. Clair FC as we get further into this one. Keith Larson, of course, was the man of the match last time this team saw the field against Inner Detroit in Auburn Hills. He's overall making a really positive impact on this under-23 side is Keith Larson from Warren, Michigan. James Lee finds Soga. Played forward. Referee's going to give the foul there against James Lee, who is kind of just jumped over the Lake St. Clair player and put a lot of weight on his back. Not really in a shooting position here is Lake St. Clair FC unless they believe in the terminology that fortune favors the bold here. It's going to be a right-footed in-swinger. Could be a shot. I wouldn't put it past him. Played out wide. Here we go. Right-footed effort. Referee's going to say there was a foul in the box and give the ball back to Detroit City FC on the edge of the area. Looks like Sean Ellis is going to come out and take this one. Bit of confusion there. Looks like referee might have been pointing to the penalty spot for a second, but gives the free kick towards Detroit City FC. Waits plays it forward to Bosch Tanny. Of course, Bosch Tanny, 2020, Michigan's Mr. Soccer. Had a few minutes for the Nisa men's first team in Chattanooga as part of the Legends Cup. It's been a crucial part of this under 23 side. Here we go. Keith Larson. Fancy forward for a second. Referee's going to call that one back after giving the advantage on the foul on Bosch Tanny. That's a good advantage there from the center referee. Alexander Plum. Let's see here. Late foul. Referee played the advantage. Then once he saw Detroit City FC gave the ball away. Really good job there by Alexander Plum to drag that play back. James Lee. Rising up for that Sheon Soga free kick. Unable to get anything on it. And it's safely back in the hands of Matt LeBlanc. I mentioned. Grand Ledge High School just graduated. Siena Heights University incoming freshman. Finds himself playing his trade this summer for Lake St. Clair Football Club. He's going to go out of play. Referee's going to give a throw into Detroit City FC. Lake St. Clair's half. Mazzo. Yeah, so not afraid to get stuck into a challenge, but also really good at shaping a ball, getting a ball into the box. We see Benny Tanny there under some pressure, gives the ball away, but gets it back. Walker. 
Soga now. Over the top, trying to find the foot of Keith Larson. Almost lost it in the air, but Keith Larson's physicality is to keep this one alive. Keller Landefeld cuts into the box. Keller Landefeld tried to get a shot off there, but Keith Larson keeps this one alive. Again, physical play, strength, ball into the box. Benny Tannen hits a touch and turns. Brady Walker kind of just ball's been in the air for a few minutes there, feels like. All their way now. Lake St. Clair trying to hit Detroit City FC on the counter attack. St. Clair. Ball played forward. Josh Waits does well. They get Lake St. Clair register a shot on goal. That'll be the first shot on goal for either side, but collected call me there by Sean Ellis who, in 625 minutes of play for Kalamazoo College, just only three goals allowed. So, although this is his first start this year for Detroit City FC, he has some goalkeeping pedigree. Course Point Park, Michigan, so I grew up pretty close to Keyworth Stadium here. So if you're Lake St. Clair, you've got to be pretty happy with the way you've come out in this one. Keeping Detroit City FC off the scoreboard already, but here we go. Ball almost found the feet there of Gustavo Barros. Really crucial interception there from Josh Waits, the Manchester England center back. Let's see here, just decent ball from Stennett. Mini Kanyeka just unable to get on the end of it. Clever ball over the top. Chao Mazzo from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Collision in the box. Referee on the far side is going to say that it was clean on that one. And now Detroit City FC maybe dodge a bullet there. Loudest keyword stadium has been all night. Looks like that's the side of the parents, friends, and family members of Lake St. Clair FC. Maybe a shout there for a penalty. But referee sees otherwise. Shion Soga plays in Bosch Tandy who... Looked on side to me from up here. Final judge, we'll see one more time here. Ooh, there definitely was contact. You can say Josh Waits got the ball, but he also could have got the ankle, and play just continued there. Could go either way, but referee has the final say. His decision was no foul. Again, Lake St. Clair FC, though, getting into the box, putting up more of a fight than team like Livonia City did when they played away at Detroit City FC. Ball played forward. Sheehan Soga, Keith Larson's through. Right-footed strike by Keith Larson. Still keeps it alive. Unable to find the back of the net. Lake St. Clair FC dodge a bullet there. Usually when Keith Larson has gotten to that position so far this season, he's found the back of the net. We'll see it again here. Soga does well to turn. Get a right-footed ball in. Larson tried to go around the goalkeeper. Crucial interception there from Lucas Carvalho. And that keeps... Detroit City FC out. Corner though, upcoming. Their second of the match. Decent crowd on hand here at Keyworth Stadium. Good soccer weather. Corner goes over everybody, except for a Lake St. Clair FC defender. This will be a throw into Detroit City FC deep in Lake St. Clair's half. Not out of the woods yet, though, at Lake St. Clair. They've Definitely had a few scares back there, that being the most crucial one here. Soga now does well to spin his man. Sort of a miscommunication there between Bosch Tandy and Brady Walker. No one there said, I got it, and the ball goes out of play now for Lake St. Clair throwing. Chow Mazza there winning the ball back for his side. And giving it right back to Lake St. Clair Football Club. Sean Mazzo from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Three starts for Detroit City FC's under 23 side, making his fourth today. Like I mentioned before, broke the deadlock in the last match here at Keyword Stadium. Late in that one to give Detroit City FC all three points. Nearly 17 minutes elapsed here at Keyword Stadium. 
nil-nil contest. Referees can say that one goes out for a throw in. Ball played forward. Bosch Tandy trying to get on the end of this one. Gets on the end of it. 2020's Mr. Soccer. Keeps it in, but is unable to make anything of it. Keith Larson just being a pest to that Lake St. Clair FC back line. City now. Look at the screen right here. It looks like Lake St. Clair is about eight, nine guys behind the ball, but that's how you have to defend against a team as dangerous as Detroit City FC. And then just hope you can get something on the break going forward. Larson, back to goal. Tries to find Soga making the run. Landefeld to Tanny. Tanny to Walker. Back to Benedict Tanny. Lachlan Hepburn, the Saginaw State University Cardinal, keeps that one. Larson turns. Larson puts one man to the ground. Then finds Hepburn again and plays a right footed ball into the box. Sails over everybody and goes out of play for another Lake St. Clair FC goal kick. A lot of sustained possession for Detroit City FC. Just really no clear-cut chances yet except for maybe that Keith Larson opportunity. Lake St. Clair a few chances themselves, but I'd say their most dangerous one is that maybe a penalty shout there. Tanny finds Landefeld. Gets it back to Lachlan Hepburn. Mario Mazzo. Seeing the same sort of play from Detroit City FC. You get it to the feet of your striker who has his back to goal, then get it back to the midfield and try to find one of those wingbacks who are bursting forward. So good to waits. And Tanny tried to find Kellen Landefeld. He was making the run there, just not enough speed on that one. However, Sheon Soga's pressing. He becomes sort of a second striker in a lot of ways. Playing up there with Keith Larson as the ball goes out of play for a Lake St. Clair throw-in. Matt Lentine there, the captain for Lake St. Clair FC. Fraser High School alumni, Siena Heights University alumni. Benedict Tanny finds Kellen Landefeld. Plays a ball across, maybe the feet of Sheon Soga. Not enough speed on that one either. We'll stay down here this end of the field. Kyle Mazzo finds Larson. Larson turns, not afraid to try the spectacular Keith Larson. Landefeld has his ball into the box, blocked off. Sean Soga does well. Turn his man, keep the ball alive. Shove to the back, stays on his feet. Left footed ball in. Good touch there by Keith Larson. Even better turn. Just unable to get the final shot off. Referee is going to give the ball back to Lake St. Clair FC via drop ball. Detroit City FC's first under-23 match here at Keyword Stadium. Keith Larson, if you'll remember, he cut in, had a left-footed curler of an effort from outside the area. Gives his first goal for Detroit City FC's under-23 side. Not afraid to try the spectaculars, the Warren, Michigan native. Matt Lentine there lays it off. Keith Larson intercepts. He has Soga with him forward. Sheon Soga in a dangerous position here. Sheon Soga's tackled. Referee is going to say that was a clean tackle. I feel like that's more of a penalty shout than the one on the other end of the field. We'll get a throw in, though, for Detroit City FC. Sheon Soga's already had two foul or penalties, excuse me, one for Detroit City FC so far this season. Thought he might have had a third there. Not too many complaints, though. Benny Tanny now. Back to Landefeld. James Lee. Errant first touch there from James Lee. Kyle Mazzo, Bosch Tanny now. Edge of the area. Ball played over the top. Sheon Soga thought he might have been through there. Get another look at it here. What could have been a penalty? Sheon Soga does well to get in this position. He definitely left a foot out there looking for the contact, and the contact did come. Complained there for a couple seconds, but then saw the referee wasn't having any of it, and we play on. 
Kyle Mazzo. It's well to win the ball and then win it back yet again and keep the ball. That's really good play there. Keith Larson here could be through on goal. Keith Larson, good first touch. The second touch there was a little bit too powerful. And it goes to Matt LeBlanc's hands. And Lake St. Clair FC dodged yet another bullet there. The intensity though starting to pick up a little bit here for Detroit City FC. James Lee. Under advisement from Josh Waits. Sends it back to Sean Ellis. Bosch Tanyi. Kellen Landefeld's in space here. Gonna be low key about it if he can be found. Found now by Benedict Tanyi if he can keep it in. There's Lachlan Hepburn advancing past him. Likes to cut inside. Colin Landefeld, redshirt freshman at Michigan State. Has some quality. Hepburn. Soga now tries to play Bosch Tanny in. Kyle Mazzo keeps it in, though. Not sure if that was a shot or a pass, but either way, it'll be another corner for Detroit City FC. Got to hear Sheehan Soga tried to get Bosch Tandy, and there's a crucial interception there from Matt Lentine, the captain of this Lake St. Clair FC side. It's been crucial when he's needed to be, Matt Lentine, and keeping Detroit City FC off the board in the first half of this one. Corner. Into the mixer and right into the hands of Matt LeBlanc. Just graduated high school the other day. Grand Ledge. James Lee has it forward to Benny Tanny in the midfield. Lake St. Clair have been on the ball and had decent possession. They've been able to get some of their players in dangerous positions. That was a really clever ball there from Gustavo Barros. Really good job there by Will Grubbs to maintain possession. Ball played forward, he's gonna have Nikonyeka there, but he's unable to run that one down as we see the player go out of play there for another Detroit City FC goal kick. <laughs> Soga, head up. Finds Lachlan Hepburn, points at Chow Mazzo, maybe to put off Lake St. Clair FC, but he saw Keith Larson was making a run that snuffed out. <laughs> Chow Mazzo there committing a foul in the midfield. Like I said, not afraid to get stuck in. Sort of a double threat there, not afraid to get stuck in. The yellow card's gonna come out. It took a second for the referee to decide that it was a yellow card, but then Eventually got around to giving it to number five, Cal Mazzo. And this is for fourth start, excuse me, for Detroit City FC's under 23 side. The first card of the match. Ball played in the box. Ellis does well to confidently claim that one out of the air. Every single time, it's been a dead ball situation for Lake St. Clair FC. They've just tried to get it as far forward as they can and hope something happens. Which, when you're at the bottom of the table, that's kind of all you can hope for. But they've had some close ones. Like I said, the first, their only point this season, coming against Livonia City on their opener. And then losing. It. Throw it now for Detroit City FC deep. Bosch Tandy keeps it in. Right footed ball into the box. Problem there in the midfield. Cho Mazzo, right footed strike from Keith Larson, is going to take a deflection and go out for Detroit City FC corner. The first one from that side of the field, the far side. Crucial interception there from Matt Lentine to keep that one out. He got some props from his teammate there. It was a really good interception from Cal Mazzo to get that ball over to Keith Larson, but nothing coming of it. Corner coming in, Sheon Soga, left footed. James Lee rises up to it. Larson trying to get a foot in on it. They're going to say it's a goal kick 
for Lake St. Clair. See, Alexander Plum made the call. Center official. Said it a few times now. But your Lake St. Clair FC, you got to be satisfied with the start you've had here. You've been under the cost for most of it, but still, nil-nil score line. You've got a dangerous position here. Gustavo Barrow. James Lee, though. Really good job to win that one back. Back to Ellis. Actually, you're wearing the captain's armband for Detroit City FC tonight. I've started every single match for the under-23 side so far this season. The only player you can say that about. Really, really good partnership with Josh Waits. But we see Cho Mazzo could be through here. A little bit wide. He's got two players in the box with him. Right for the ball. Larson trying to pounce on a mistake there from Arnis Bestick, but unable to get on the end of it. So good pressing. Keith Larson's been an absolute blast to watch so far for this under-23 side. Be a throw in now for Lake St. Clair. Good throw in, really good spot there from his teammate. Josh Waits was out to lunch on that one. Right for the strike comes in, and Sean Ellis makes the save. A really good contingent of family members, friends, and relatives for Lake St. Clair FC in the crowd tonight. Every single time they have a good chance, we'll see it here again. Just right for the strike from Gustavo Barros. Sean Ellis looked pretty confident on that one the whole way. Benedict Tanny. Keith Larson back to goal, operating as he does. Kalamazo forward through. Looks like Lachlan Hepburn does well. First touch headed down and then blocked off by Lucas Carvalho. It'll go out for another corner for Detroit City FC. Lucas Carvalho, Siena Heights University defender. Really crucial interception there. So Lachlan Hepburn was through on goal. Of course, Lachlan Hepburn, man of the match against Livonia City and their Detroit City FC's 5-0 defeat of them on the road. Continues to be really solid and composed for them in that midfield and going forward. Short corner here for City. Bosch Chani finds Soga, who's pushed off the ball, but keeps the ball alive and gets it over to Bosch Chani. He's, he would have wanted a foul there. Lachlan Hepburn doing well to receive in the middle of the field. All over the top. Creative idea, but not really executed as well as he or his squad would have liked. It's been a nil-nil scoreline so far, but really open game, even though with the lack of clear-cut chances for either side. Thirty minutes. Gone in tonight's contest. James Lee there showing his strength. Slight giveaway here from Lachlan Hepper who does well to make up for his mistake. Landefeld back to Hepburn. Calmazzo. Crucial interception there. Calmazzo wins it back. Finds Larson who's sort of on an island out here on the wing. Hepburn back to Lee. One of the Detroit City FC's strengths so far this season is how composed their center backs are on the ball. Don't really give the ball away in dangerous positions. And that's always a good thing if you're a coach and or center back. Good for the goalkeepers too, who really haven't been under much pressure this season. Landefeld as well to win the ball back there. Ball blasted over the top. Lee wins the header. Calmazzo. Detroit City FC's midfield has not stopped running this whole game. Lee there. Puts a foot in. Really good ball. Decent chance here. There's a few players with him forward in the box. Sean Ellis has to dive in order to keep that one 
off the feet of Nia Kanyeka. Colin Landefeld finds Larson. We'll see it again here. Decent chance there by John Stevens. Played a good ball into the box, but Sean Ellis does a well to get down to it. Clay St. Clair have definitely had their chances, been in dangerous positions. It's unable to capitalize. Carl Mazza, who's on a yellow card, is going to get a foul against him. You have to be careful here, Carl Mazzo, because he picked up an early yellow card, and now referee's going to have in the back of his mind Alexander Plum that he committed a yellow uh, foul excuse me, on a yellow card. Ball, really good ball from Sheon Soga. Bosch Tanyi pushed off the ball there, but keeps it alive. Keith Larson receives it edge of the area. Inside the box now, looking for a teammate to go forward. Takes his time. Benny Tandy from the edge of the area takes a strike. But only cleared away by Blake St. Clair, center back. Soga. Walker finds Benny Tanny. Benny Tanny scored a goal similar to that one at Livonia City in Detroit City FC's 5 0 victory at Schoolcraft College. Lee Mazzo Hepburn Landefeld, excuse me, finds Benny Tan. He's going to keep this one in. It looks like ball into the box. Shian Soga does well to collect. Shian Soga's running at Lake St. Clair's back line. Good ball in. It's going to come off the arm of a Lake St. Clair player, but no harm, no foul. There's no intent on that one. Brady Walker now. Trying to track back. And does well to win the ball. Bosch Tanny finds his brother in over the top. He was onside, just too much speed on that one. Referee was cool, like I mentioned. Benny Tanny has some minutes for Detroit City FC's NISA first team. Was announced last year for the fall tournament. And then... Played some minutes in Chattanooga as part of that Legends Cup. He and his brother were on the field at the same time for about a half. In Detroit City FC's opening match against Cal United Strikers. On the ball here now for the under-23 side. Finds his brother, Bosch Tanny, out wide. A few step overs. Ball into the box and be another corner for Detroit City FC. Really laying it on thick now in these final couple of minutes. See it again here. Good job to get in the area to get the ball in, but a corner. Ball into the box. Brady Walker rows to it and finds the back of the net. Detroit City FC gets their opener via a corner here in the 35th minute of play. It was Sheon Soga's left-footed corner that found the head of Brady Walker. His fifth goal in six starts for Detroit City FC's under-23 side this season. And that's enough to get them on the board. Ten minutes away here from halftime. If you're Lake St. Clair FC, you're going to feel hard done by that. Do a really good job keeping Detroit City FC out in open play. But then, via the corner, beautiful ball in from Sheon Soga. And that gives Detroit City FC the 1-0 advantage. The Heartland, Michigan native for Brady Walker. Thirty-six minutes gone. Now Lake St. Clair. Just hoping to stop the bleeding a little bit. Brady Walker scored the winner in Romeo for Detroit City FC against the Stars with that absolute wonder volley that went bar and down. Now he finds himself on the score sheet in this one. Landefeld. Finds Hepburn, back to Landefeld. Balled in. Chow Mazzo finds Keith Larson, who finds Sheon Soga, who gets a really good first touch. Tries to get it across to Bosch Chaney, be another Detroit City FC corner. Of course, Detroit City FC dangerous from corners, scoring on their last one. Let's see, take a look at it here. 
Brady Walker just rose up, got the head on it, and that's good enough for his fifth goal in his sixth start for Detroit City FC's under 23 side this season. Another corner here, not the most clean punch of all time there by Matt LeBlanc, but Shian Soga keeps it alive. He and Brady Walker, the goal scorer, left footed ball under the box, trying to become the supplier. But into the hands, Matt LeBlanc, who didn't really claim that corner all too well, but does enough to keep his side only at a one nothing disadvantage. Cal Mazzo. Bosch Tanny, back to Mazzo. Keith Larson, really good ball to find Lachlan Hepburn on this near side. He's in some space. Hepburn with a right-footed ball into the box. Gets, tries to find Keith Larson back, and that was a really worrying moment there for Matt LeBlanc. Really good play there, though, by Keith Larson. So not only get the ball out to Lachlan Hepburn on that far side, but then continue his run and try to get it back for himself. Got a touch on it, and then just... Really crucial punch there, Matt LeBlanc, to keep things as they stand. A 1-0 lead for Detroit City FC. Poor touch there by Josh Waits. Does well to make up for his mistake. You can really just see the chemistry oozing from this Detroit City FC side. They know the runs their teammates are going to make, which in a league that's only summer ball, it's usually pretty rare, especially the first time a lot of these guys are playing together. You see it every single match, what they work on in training. Mazzo, ball forward. Sheon Soga, great first touch. Offside is going to go up against Kellen Landefeld, who finished the chance anyways. But Sheon Soga with that lethal first touch to take the ball past the defenders who were closing down and find Landefeld. So here, Sheon found Landefeld. Tristan has been offside a few times, which I can be too happy about, but it also just shows the type of football they're trying to play here tonight. Try to find those killer balls over the top or through on goal. And oftentimes the passes have been really good. That's why the offside flag has had to go up. Just not timing their runs all too well. Landefeld gives the ball away, but Detroit City FC does well to win it back. Mazzo intercepts it. Keith Larson was alone there between the two center backs, unable to get a touch on it. 40 minutes gone. Good interception there from Landefeld. One hits Lachlan Hepburn in the face. It'll be a throw in for Lake St. Clair FC. Lachlan Hepburn, the Saginaw Valley State University Cardinal, started all of their games in the 2021 spring season. Has appeared in all matches for Detroit City FC's under 23 side, five of those being starts, six now. Be a throw in for Lake St. Clair FC. Have not seen Detroit City FC's intensity drop off after taking the lead. Haven't seen that all season. It's a good mentality out of this under 23 side. Ball hit forward. Josh Waits here could be in an island as well to get a touch on that one. It was a crucial touch. Lake St. Clair still have the ball in Detroit City FC's half. Chance there snuffed out by the goal scorer, Brady Walker. Lake St. Clair have been. Coming into this one, you wouldn't really worry about them threatening, but they've been pretty useful going forward at that penalty shout. Long throw in here, upcoming into the box. It's a really good throw in. Sean Ellis didn't really claim that one as confidently as he would have wanted to. Another throw in here for Lake St. Clair FC. Take a look at it here. Long throw in's always dangerous. Basically a corner that Detroit City FC had to defend here. Really good stance on that throw, and then Sean Ellis punched it as far as he could away, and it stays one nothing. 
Like St. Clair, though, still have the ball. Good sustained spell of possession here for the visitors. Giveaway there, almost found the feet of Keith Larson. Landefeld, ball played forward. Not enough shape on that one. She on Soga would have liked. She would have been through on goal, had that a little bit more curve on that. The redshirt freshman from Michigan State. Damon Rensing's been really happy with Cullen Landefeld's development at Michigan State University. I'm sure he's watching these games. As she on Soga goes down, gets right back up. Brady Walker here in a comfortable position. As well to find Bosch Tanya. Cal Mazzo. Hepper now. Larson with his hand up. Keen to make a run forward. Unable to be found. Miscommunication there between Nikonyeka and Will Grubb. I'm guessing on that last name. I don't know if that's apparent yet. Lake St. Clair C forward now. Cal Mazzo. Soga. Good one two there. Mazzo ball forward on the ground. Keith Larson could be through on goal. Beats the goalkeeper. Keith Larson unable to get the shot off. It's still alive for Keith Larson. Dancing around in the box still. Unable to get a shot off. Keith Larson was through on goal there. A really, really well played ball there from Cal Mazzo. We'll see it again. Just probably should have shot right there. Unable to really have his feet under him. Keeps the play alive though for a lot longer than most guys would before it's touched out of play and celebrated going out of play there by Lucas Carvalho with a crucial touch. Keith Larson absolutely lethal when he gets the shot off. Just unable to do it on two occasions so far when he's been fed through on goal. So good though, Detroit City FC's goal coming from this exact situation. Tried to find Brady Walker again. I will say, Brady Walker's not the tallest guy out there in Detroit City FC's set pieces, so good that he was able to get ahead on that one and give them their opener. So we're creeping up here. Looks like one minute of added time. Fourth official indicated. One minute's probably fair so far in this one. James Lee now on the ball. Played over the top. Walker plays it through. Shion Soga dancing. Shion Soga right footed strike. Good save by Matt LeBlanc to keep that right footed Shion Soga effort out. But still, this half of the field, Cal Mazzo. Benny Tanyi gets it over. Kellen Landefeld. Lachlan Hepburn. Cal Mazzo. Shian Soga reties his shoe on the edge of the area. Kellen Landefeld. James Lee coming up and a poorly time header there. A shot coming in from distance for Gustavo Barros. That was ambitious. Fortune does favor the bold. So we'll see here, Shion Soga does well to create space for himself, get the right-footed strike off. Really good replay there by our production guys. Ball forward now, Keith Larson's in some space on the far side as Landa fell up with him. Keith Larson looked to make amends. Just unable again to get the shot off, but plays it across to Soga who takes the strike and goes just wide of that near post. Really close chance there for Shion Soga. Alshi Japan native. Keith Larson, really good job on that far side to get into the space. Good run, good job to find Soga. Referee blows his whistle for halftime. Detroit City FC head in the locker room with a 1-0 advantage, but also really dominant first half performance. Is they got to be happy with where they are. And if you're Lake St. Clair FC, got to be pretty happy with where you sit in this one. Of course, Detroit City FC, good 45 out of them. Coach Javi Bautista is going to be happy with that one. It's been 
Good first half here at Keyword Stadium. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for the second half after this one. Stay with us here on YouTube.
Welcome back inside of Keyword Stadium for the second half of tonight's matchup between Detroit City FC versus Lake St. Clair FC. Detroit City FC enjoying a 1-0 advantage here. It's been a comfortable 1-0. Maybe could have been two or three, a few chances from Keith Larson. Went to either side of the goal, but looks like he's going to be replaced here at the start of the second half. We've got a few substitutes coming in for Detroit City FC. Looks like Zion Beaton's going to be one of them. But you see Shion Soga out there still. One of the most electrifying players in this under-23 side. Referees here waiting to make sure we get all the substitutions squared away, make sure everyone's happy. We see Zion Beaton coming in, number nine for Detroit City FC. Zion Beaton, of course, from Belleville, Michigan, Wright State University. Six appearances so far for Detroit City FC's under-23 side. Of course, scoring in the first match here at Keyword Stadium against the West Michigan Bearings. He's coming in. We got number 23, Jack Zuge, coming in as well. Jack Zuge, Michigan State University freshman. Everyone I talk to at Michigan State about Jack Zuge says he's got that it factor about him. And Damon Rensing, really excited to make him part of the program. Another substitute here as we see number 99, Wasi Mutana, coming in from Hamtramck, Michigan. One start, four appearances so far for Detroit City FC. Three goals. Scored his first goal for Detroit City FC as well. Gets the West Michigan Bearings in that 3 0 win at Keyword Stadium. Underway in the second half. Looks like Keith Larson was replaced by Zion Beaton. Jack Zuge has come in for Benedict Taney. And of course, Wasim Mutana's coming in for Bosch Taney. So Taney counting the field went from two to now to zero in the second half. Keith Larson is not going to be able to sleep tonight. A few of the chances he missed. Immediately, though, Wasim Mutana's through on goal. Takes a right footed strike. Really just did, couldn't get his foot behind it. Didn't really hit it too cleanly. But a really early chance here for Wasi Mutana. Literally a minute after coming out. We'll see it here. Did well with his first couple touches. He just didn't get the cleanest strike on it. And it bounces past that far post and out of play. Wasi Mutana from Hamtramck, Michigan. Really cool to see Hamtramck, Michigan player representing the Detroit City FC badge. Jack Zuge. Good job there in the midfield. Brady Walker, the goal scorer. Jack Zuge. Kyle Mazzo. Doing well there. Zion Beaton keeps the play alive. Zuge tried to wrangle that one in. Keeps it. Out to Lachlan Hepburn. Mutanas looked really positive every single time he's played for the Detroit City FC side. Now it's Shion Soga. He has Brady Walker. Shot in from Walker. Forces a save out of Matt LeBlanc. Kept in by Detroit City FC. Mutana back to Landefeld. Goes it back to Hepburn. Mazzo. Mazzo finds Mutana. Plays it out wide to Kellen Landefeld. Landefeld finds Zuge. Back to Mazzo. Zion Beaton wants it forward. A few good touches in the box. Plays across to Soga. Really tight area. Does well to dribble through two guys there to keep the ball in play for Detroit City FC. On the goal line now, it's going to go out for Detroit City FC corner. See it here. Soga does well to set up Brady Walker. He's unable to tuck home his second of the night. We saw that com combination led to Detroit City FC's first goal from the corner, though, as we see another corner here for Detroit City FC on this near side. Soga right-footed, ball into the box. Referee's going to say there was a foul committed there. Looks like by Zion Beaton. It'll be a free kick to Lane St. Clair FC in the box. Substitution as well for Lake St. Clair at the half. Cooper Haskin comes on to replace John Steven. It's been a comfortable night so far for Detroit City FC. Asking all the questions. We see Mutana here. It's really been 
Big presence ever since coming on. Soga tries to find Zion Beaton, who can't control his touch. I'm going to say last touched by a Detroit City FC player. James Lee composed ball back. Nearly given away there by Sean Ellis as well to get back in his goal to try to defend any Lake St. Clair shot from distance. Zion Beaton found here. Back to Zuge in the midfield. Ball forward. Nassim Mutana was making a run. It was almost found by his teammate, but a little bit too much speed on that one. Matt LeBlanc been really confident back there. Made a few good saves. He's towards if he's had chances. He's done well to put players off and Mazzo does well to keep the ball alive in the midfield. Mazzo forward. Landefeld back to Mazzo. Finds Zion beaten, unable to beat his man. Now Lake St. Clair looking to go forward. Lachlan Hepburn does well. Snuff out that chance there. And Cooper Haskin, the Anchor Bay High School forward. Soga getting to work. Mazzo finds the goal scorer Walker on this near side. Jack Zuge pushed off the ball there. Referees says that was clean. Kept alive on the near side touch on there from Lake St. Clair FC. Was out for a throw in, gonna be taken by Brian Blakesley. Notre Dame Prep High School wing back. Walker there. Well in a tight area to keep things going. Zion Beaton does well to beat his man. He has bodies forward, tries to find Racine Mutana, who's making a really good bursting run through the center of the park. Good intensity, though, to keep things good. We'll have a player down here for Lake St. Clair FC. It's going to be Lucas Carvalho, Siena Heights University. Trainer's going to go over there, make sure he's all right. Seems to be walking off the field under his own power, doing good. A little bit of a limp to him, but. Throw it now. Zion Beaton receives the ball. Keeps it alive. Edge of the area. Zuge. That's why I lead it to Walker. Walker left for the ball into the box. Goes all the way through to Kellen Landefeld, who sets up Mazzo. Really powerful strike from the foot there. Mazzo, but it goes out. Blocked off by the captain, Matt Lentine. Zuge forward to Soga. Soga turning. Finds Mutana, does well to get it back to Soga. Plays the ball across. It's going to be a goal for Detroit City FC. Shion Soga was the creator for the first one. Tucks home the second one. And Detroit City FC here double their advantage. A really, really well-worked moment of play there for Detroit City FC. Mutana, just such a casual flick over to Shion Soga, who takes the low right-footed strike and beats Matt LeBlanc. Detroit City FC now in business. 2-0 up in this one. Such a really, really good casual flick there into the path of Soga. And a really tight angle there from Soga. And that goal came, of course, when Lake St. Clair FC was down a man. There's Lucas Carvalho receiving treatment for that tackle we saw a few minutes prior. Really well-worked goal for Detroit City FC. It's 2-0 now. Lake St. Clair have a mountain to climb. But do a really good job of getting a goal back there. As James Lee, there was a little bit of confusion at the back. 
And almost immediately after Detroit City FC second, it's two to one. That was a wild mix up at the back between, we'll see it here, just no communication there between James Lee and Sean Ellis. And it's tucked into the back of the net by the substitute, Cooper Haskin. And it's two to one. I mentioned they have a mountain to climb. Didn't think they were gonna get to the top so quickly there. Two to one now. Detroit City FC still in the lead. Just a bizarre sequence of play there here at Keyword Stadium. Soga now. Zion beaten. Now, Detroit City FC thought they had a comfortable 2 0 lead. Now it's back to basically what it was before. Maybe now Lay St. Clair have a little bit of confidence to push on, although the goal was somewhat fluky. Zuge. Mazzo. It's a, a very wild way for Detroit City FC. You can see their first goal from open play in over 500 minutes. What a weird way for that to happen. Mazzo now. Finds Soga again. Soga, left-footed effort. Goes face across goal. Landefeld back in. Clear it away. Forward now, Mazzo again back to intercept that one. Just a bizarre 90 seconds of football here at Keyword Stadium. Mutana out wide. The assister for the second one. Detroit City FC beaten, tried to collect that one edge of the area. So to play Lake St. Clair playing with a little bit more confidence following their goal. Only their third goal scored in this Midwest Premier League season. Soga back to Mutana. Mutana back to Soga. Deadly combination those two have had since Mutana's entered the field. Tried to find Brady Walker across. Cleared forward now. Kept in by Zuge. Last touch coming though. From Detroit State FC, another substitute here coming in for Lake St. Clair FC. Walking onto the field with the pib on, an interesting strategy. From Carter Robertson, the Rochester University midfielder. Taking a second here on the substitution. Looks like it's going to be Lucas Carvalho, the man who was off the field when Detroit City FC got their second to be replaced by Carter Roberson instantly involved in this one. First couple touches coming out immediately after he enters the field. Zion Beaton hasn't looked too comfortable out there leading the line for Detroit City FC so far, but every match he's played, he's grown into it as time has gone on. Lake St. Clair playing with an intensity we haven't seen all night from them. Goals do change games. Zuge, Hepburn, Waits. Brady Walker. Mutana thought he was going to hopefully be in there. Collected by Matt LeBlanc. LeBlanc pass it forward. Trying to get something to bounce there. We've seen Lake St. Clair get lucky once so far in this game. and Maybe luck's not the word for it, but they found a goal. They'll take it any way they can get it. Walker in some space. Tries to find Zion Beaton. Zion Beaton a few touches on the touchline. Gets it back to Walker. Walker thought about shaping a ball into the box. Jack Zuge. Find Sheon Soga in some space. He's going to find Lock or Kellen Landefeld, excuse me, in advanced position. And go out for another Detroit City FC corner. Looks like it could be Landefeld to take this one. Brady Walker's running over to it, maybe. Short corner situation here. Corner taken short. This one. Right for the ball into the box. Zion Beaton's there. Jack Zuge takes a touch, goes for the spectacular on the volley attempt. Interesting 
bit of play that Detroit City FC tried to catch Lake St. Clair out with that quick corner, a short corner. It almost worked out for him. As Jack Zuge had a volley attempt. But crucial block there from Matt Lentine, their captain. Detroit City FC probably thinking about some of those chances that they could have capitalized on in the first half. While they're it's been a comfortable night for him, 2-1. 30 minutes left in this one. Anything can happen, as we've seen with Lake St. Clair's goal. But Josh Waits on the ball now. Played forward. Cut out there by Brian Blakesley. But one back. Soga has numbers forward. Tries to find Mutana. Just a last-ditch effort there from Matt Lentine. Mazzo wins it back. Soga now. So deadly. He's going to play any of those positions behind the striker. Central, left or right. James Lee looking to make amends in this one. Carter Roberson, substitute, puts the ball out of play. He's talking to Brian Blasey there, telling him what he was trying to do, just didn't really come off for him. Mazzo, fancing the ball forward. Mutana's kind of been playing up top as a lone striker. Zion Beaton's kind of been forced out wide to the wings here. Landefeld. Gets it back to Mazzo. Not afraid to take a shot himself. Ball played over Brady Walker. Was queuing up for that one, but headed out of play. Slay St. Clair team here. Holding on, only a one goal deficit to a side that's been the best in the Midwest Premier League. Could feel galvanized by that as you see Mazzo go down but gets right back up. Waits does well to track that one down. Walker inside to Soga. Good job there by Soga to switch play. We have a Lake St. Clair player down on this near side. Mid Detroit City FC might take advantage of this one. Ball played over the top. Zion Beaton is going to be just offside. Ball probably sh should have been to Soga there as Brian Blakesley's down for the visitors. Looks like a pulled hamstring. There was not. There was non-contact. Could have been something pulled, excuse me. Don't want to assume as he walks off the field. Trainers with him. There's a Ambitious ball over the top here, but it was a good idea. Zion Beaton was in space, just far side. Referee said that was offside. Blakesley, Lake St. Clair currently down a man as Brian Blakesley tries to stretch out his problem. Brady Walker does well. Zion Beaton tries to chest it down. Does well to retain possession and a good switch of play into the midfield to Jack Zuge takes a few touches, tries to find Zion Beaton back again, but cut out. But it's kept alive here by Detroit City FC. Zuge, good switcher play to Kellen Landefeld. If he can get there to it, his Spartan teammate, just a little bit too much speed on that one. Lake St. Clair back to full strength as Brian Blakesley comes back into this one. 62 and a half minutes gone here at Keyword Stadium. Still just one goal in it. Separates the two sides. We see Lachlan Hepburn's wrist. Tape's coming off a little bit. Mutana, really good first touch from him. Just a, touched it a little bit too far away. As we see Lachlan Hepburn dealing with that. Is that an aerodynamic disadvantage on that far side? Another substitution here, getting ready for Detroit City FC. We see Sam Harshi giving his papers to the referee, as well as two other, or one other sub, excuse me, thought Javi Bautista could have been putting himself on in this one.
Lake St. Clair. Not going quietly into the night here at Keyword Stadium. Good interception there. Mutana's been really good since coming on. You can say that about all of his substitution appearances so far in this one, this season, excuse me, for Detroit City FC. Sahan Beaton trying to win the ball back in the midfield. Referee's going to say there was a foul. It's going to go against Detroit City FC and Brady Walker. Wouldn't be shocked if we see Mazzo come off sometime soon here with him being on a yellow card. Ball played in the box. Sean Ellis comes out to claim. Take a look at it here. Brady Walker just somehow a foul against him, but no harm done on that one as Lake St. Clair cannot capitalize on the free kick. Detroit City FC looking to get going again. Got to imagine these two substitutes for Detroit City FC will take place next time the ball goes out of play. See Mutana. Shion Soga finds him. A few touches, really silky touches from Shion Soga, edge of the area, does well to set up Kellen Landefeld. Right footed ball across the area, Zion Beaton tucks home, but the referee on the far official will say he's off sides. I don't know, it looks good from here, but of course, I have the best angle of it, but really, again, just Troy City FC carving through Lake St. Clair FC with Shion Soga. Get a look at it here. Just Soga does so well to keep that one alive. When the ball was played across, ah, he was on, looked like he was onside on the player that was on Landefeld. Oh, he's way onside by at least two players. That's a, not the best call by the line judge, but keeps this one one goal difference as we do see Mazzo eventually come off or replaced by Sam Harshi, the Dexter, Michigan native, currently at Yale. And then we see Shion Soga make his way out of this one, being replaced by Ryan Dobson, Liverpool, England defender. Not the, exactly a like-for-like -like sub there. As we see Shion Soga replaced by a defender from Liverpool, England, Ryan Dobson. And Detroit City FC. Detroit City FC up two to one in this one. 60, nearly 67 minutes gone. Shian Soga and Mazo coming off. They kind of switching the whole midfield here is Detroit City FC. Yellow card here against Lake St. Clair. Looks like that was gonna be the captain, Matt Lentine, receiving the yellow card on that one. Referee had no doubts about that one. That was off the ball. Looks like he kind of maybe stepped on his ankle there. But yellow card given out to the captain for Lake St. Clair FC. So we see Mutana tries to find Brady Walker with an ambitious ball over the top. See it here. Just, yeah, kind of just stepped on his ankle there. And referee Luke Winters, number 23. Forward now. Another foul there against Lake St. Clair. Looks like that's going to go to Detroit City FC's way. Intensity of this game is starting to pick up a little bit. A little bit, get a little bit chippy here as the sun is down and the lights here at Keyword Stadium come to life. Landefeld finds Harshi. Brady Walker, a few touches. Ball into the box. Brady Walker, of course, got the scoring underway for Detroit City FC in this one. Ball goes out of play for another corner. Second half's been a little bit less comfortable for Detroit City FC. Still maintain that 2-1 lead. Sam Harsh ready to take this one. Right footed ball in. Goes over everybody and goes out for a Lake St. Clair goal kick. Two more substitutions here 
for Lake St. Clair FC. As we see Darian Brooks enter the match, as well as Mustafa Zakari. Mustafa Zakari coming in, as well as Darian Brooks. Darian Brooks, South Lake High School, Defiance College athlete. Powerful goal kick. Finds the head of first Brady Walker. He's put an absolute shift for Detroit City FC. Brady Walker not too pleased with that. Line judges call. Zion Beaton takes a touch. Finds Landefeld who gets it back to Zion Beaton. Really, really good one too there from Detroit City FC. Beaton now looking to try to make something out of this. Rest of the attack caught up. Good ball there by Zuge to keep that alive. Haroshi plays it out. Landefeld, back to Zuge. Zuge tries to slip through Mutana. Just gonna say it was last touched by Zuge. Another goal kick here for Lake St. Clair. Really gorgeous night for soccer weather-wise here at Keyword Stadium. Seventy minutes gone here. Lake St. Clair have to be pleased with where they find themselves so late in this one against what I would call the Titans of the Eastern Division of the Midwest Premier League. Not really been up against the ropes at all so far this season, but 2-1 scoreline late. Rutana back to goal. Super powerful referee is going to give the foul eventually. Taken quickly into the midfield. Harshi. Walker. Sam Harsh, of course, coached at Yale by Troy City FC's first ever head coach. Highly standard. I'm sure he's watching tonight. Harsh wins it back there. Pretty advanced position here for Sam Harshi to be in. But put a ball into the box. Brady Walker gets ahead on it. Zion Beaton's there. Falls back to Walker, who takes the volley attempt. Of course, not afraid to really error there by Matt LeBlanc. Put on by target, excuse me, by with C. Mutana. Trying to pounce on that mistake there by Matt LeBlanc. It's going to be a throw in for Detroit City FC. Taking a look at it here. Good ball into the box by Lachlan Hepburn. Brady Walker rose to it. Then try to take the volley attempt. Mutana did well to put pressure on it. Just ultimately unable to get the shot off without it getting blocked. And Lake St. Clair now have bodies committed forward. One back by James Lee. Sean Ellis blasts it upfield. Trying to find the head of Zion Beaton. Go out of play for a Lake St. Clair throw in. Goes into the Detroit City FC advertising board on that far side. Sam Harsh, she said, no harm, no foul. Referee Alexander Plum had no concerns with the way that one went down. James Lee on the ball. Just blasts it into what usually is a raucous crowd here at Keyword Stadium on that side of the field. Zuge. Blast up. Mutana's been really physical presence leading the line for Detroit City FC ever since coming on. Got himself in a few good positions too. So Bird zips over the field. Brady Walker winning that physical battle there. Some flash photography happening. Hepburn with it. Well weighted ball through, Zion Beaton almost gets on the end of that one. It's kept alive, tackle from behind, referee says he didn't see it. But it looks like Zion Beaton there might have been brought down. Good touch there by Midwest Premier League. 
East Division media guy, Kyle Clayton. Zion Beaton's going to claim this one. We'll see. It was. Oh, I don't know about that one. Looks like Zion Beaton was brought down. Maybe he does have a case for a penalty there, but we play on. Alexander Plum calling a foul there against Detroit City FC. Floodlights well and truly on here at Keyworth Stadium. Lake St. Clair committing all the bodies forward for this free kick as they just blast it, trying to get something on it. Battle of the eights on this near side right here. One out by Brady Walker. Zion Beaton was just making a run, trying to get a lucky bounce or two in there. Brady Walker's been absolutely everywhere tonight. Open the scoring for Detroit City FC, my personal man of the match so far. Going to say there's a foul in there. Committed by the goal scorer for Lake St. Clair, Cooper Haskin, on James Lee. A little bit of a worry there for Detroit City FC. Matana, really good first touch. Oh, tried to just slip in Zion Beaton behind Lake St. Clair back line, unable to do so. Another foul going against Detroit City FC there. Harshi plays it forward. Zion Beaton trying to, and the referee's going to say there's a foul there. Zion Beaton would have liked to see the advantage play there. We have Kellen Landefeld in some space. Quick free kick. Landefeld is it back to Zuge. Zuge to Harshi. Harshi gets it out. Brady Walker, really good possession here from Detroit City FC. Utana, wow, furthest out wide he's been all night. Harshi. Josh Waits does well to turn his man. Touch last by Lake St. Clair. Fender, there's about 15 minutes left in this one. Substitute here for Lake St. Clair FC. Coming into this one, Franco Alves for Lake St. Clair. Coming out, Will Grubbs. Kellen Landefeld falls to the ground on that one, gets right back up. Going to be say it was last touched by Kellen Landefeld. Lake St. Clair committing all the bodies forward for this free kick. We've seen them do this a number of times, just blast it and hope to get something in the box. Off a of bounce, but it goes only as far as Ryan Dobson. James Lee there to clean up the scraps. And Zion Beaton here with a really good first touch. Could be a you know, dangerous situation for Detroit City FC. Does well to cut back inside. Mutana with him forward, finds Landefeld. Landefeld takes a few touches, edge of the area, tries the strike. It's going to go out for a Detroit. Lake St. Clair throw in. Another substitution here for Detroit City FC. See Alejandro Steinwasher enter this match, Sterling Heights, Michigan. University of Indianapolis forward. Looks like he's coming in for Kellen Landefeld. Makes a long jog on the far side of the field to replace Alejandro Steinwasher. Alejandro Steinwasher, one start for Detroit City FC's under 23 side. They're pretty positive going forward in that one. This team doesn't need a goal, but they would like one to make things a little bit more comfortable after they had that Zion beaten tap in, chalked off due to offsides. Suge, Steinwasher, first touches on the ball. Hepburn, good step over there from Hepburn to open up for Harshi, who does well himself. Close control to keep it in. 
Josh waits forward to receive Mutana. Deep as he's been to receive the ball. Good touch there by Zion Beaton. Mutana does well to find Hepburn. Edge of the area on that far side. Played into the box. Steinwasher who was hoping to rise to that one. Lake St. Clair recycle it now and going forward. Substitute, Franco Alves making an impact. Zuge has to run through the referee to get to it. Now, a few wayward bounces here. Could put Lake St. Clair through, but James Lee with a really composed attempt there to keep things the way they are. Zuge inside. Mutana head up. Zion beaten, frustrated with Mutana's inability to get the ball over to him. Really good technical play there from the midfielder for Lake St. Clair. Beat all the Detroit City FC midfielders running at him. Harshi slows things down a little bit for his Detroit City FC side. Suge. Finds Hepburn, trying to find Steinwasher. Goes out of play for Detroit City FC throw in in Lake St. Clair's half. <laughs> Hepburn finds Zuge, the Michigan State Spartan. Steinwasher. Finds Brady Walker. Brady Walker, a few touches into the box. Has a rip. It's blocked off by the Lake St. Clair center back. Josh Waits plays a ball over the top. Zion Beaton wasn't really expecting that one. He's frustrated with his teammates. Ball, James Lee. Foul there in the midfield. Sam Harshi's. Foul against him there. About 10 minutes left in this one. Fred City FC enjoying a 2-1 lead. James Lee. Good header there by Steinwasher. Tried to head it back to Zion Beaton who was breaking that back line. Really composed touches there for Matt LeBlanc. Touches a pass, Zion Beaton. They get going again, but immediately intercepted there. Lachlan Hepburn, Detroit City FC, is grabbing this game by the scruff of the neck. Josh Waits, James Lee, Lee with the long ball over the top. Walker settles it down. We see here, Brady Walker, of course, like I said before, started the scoring for tonight. Forward now. Zion Beaton trying to pressure the ball away there from Garrett Mays. Throw in here. Lake St. Clair's half for Detroit City FC. Jack Zuge. To Walker, back to Zuge, who tried to play that nonchalant ball. To Zion beaten, it goes out. Decent crowd on hand here at Keyworth Stadium. Zuge, still on the ball. It's really well to keep that ball in. It's Jack Zuge, but not so much the best ball into the box. But back at the feet of Zuge. Oh, tried to. Break the Lake St. Clair back line there with a clever through ball. 83 minutes up on the clock. Seven minutes left before stoppage time in this one. It's been a very comfortable 2-1 for Detroit City FC, but just unable to be super clinical in front of goal. A few really good clear cut opportunities that were not capitalized on. Ball launched. Over the top, good header away by Josh Waits. Walker. Back to Waits. This is be Detroit City FC's 
bread and butter right there. Just one twos between the center backs and wing backs. Try to get something going upfield. Lee on the ball. Giveaway there from James Lee. Zuge unable to track it down. Lake St. Clair now trying to set up shop on the edge of the penalty area. Right footed ball under the box. Cleared away. Detroit City FC under a little bit of pressure here to maintain this 2 1 lead. Be a huge result for Lake St. Clair if they can get something here. Detroit's played away. Walker gets a touch on it before he's fouled. Not really agreed there on that one by Cooper Haskin, the goal scorer for Lake St. Clair FC. Super positive since coming on. Sean Ellis going to take this free kick. We'll see another look at it here. Yeah, Brady Walker just taken down by Cooper Haskin. Referee, no thoughts there about a yellow card, but still the foul goes against Lake St. Clair FC. Cooper Haskin jumping for joy, trying to intercept that one from Sean Ellis. Steinwasher does well. The referee's going to say there was a foul there committed by Zion Beaton, I believe. Taken very quickly by Matt LeBlanc and just blasted forward, looking for an equalizer late in this one at Keyworth Stadium. Steinwasher unable to get on that one. Lake St. Clair are going to be very happy to be in this position, but still pressing on, looking to get a point out of this one. Detroit City FC probably not too happy with where they are right now. If they take a look at the table and other matches Lake St. Clair have been in this season. They're currently still three points. Zion Beaton thought maybe he was onside there. Of course, Zion Beaton had one taken away from him earlier in this half due to offsides. It was a really close call, but line judge put his flag up. There's no real chances for Lake St. Clair other than their goal, which... They were pretty much gifted that one. Mutana pressing Matt LeBlanc. Brady Walker finds Zuge, or excuse me, Harshi. Forward, back to Walker, who finds Zion Beaton. Sort of on an island out there on the wing, does well with his first touch. Get into the box, and a last ditch effort there to give Detroit City FC yet another corner in this one late. 86 and a half minutes gone. Sam Harshi standing over this one. Right for the ball into the box from the corner, leaping to it. With Zion, beaten, unable to get anything on. Ryan Dobson, back to defend that one. Decent shift tonight out of Gustavo Barros. We'll see Mutano wins the ball back there, but gives it right back away to Haskins, the goal scorer. Dobson doing well, heads it, and then blasts it forward to avoid it going out of play. is going to rise up to this one, unable to get there, but Steinwasher. Kind of gets it back, just kind of throws a foot at it and gets it back in the air. But Zion Beaton here has the ball. The lovely through ball to Steinwasher. Steinwasher, one touch. Right-footed strike beats the goalkeeper. But then Zion Beaton on the rebound. Tucks it home for Detroit City FC's third of the night. Points to the crest. Zion Beaton settles it here for Detroit City FC. Really late on. Let's take another look at it here. Steinwasher. One touch, his next touch was a strike that beat Matt LeBlanc, hits the post, Zion beaten there to tuck it home. And then, really fired up by that one, points to the crest. Zion beaten, gets the goal he would have wanted, gives the heart to the fans in attendance. And Zion beaten gives Detroit City FC their two goal advantage back in the 88th minute of this one. Steinwasher had the keeper beat there, just couldn't. Tuck it into the post, and Zion beaten there. Johnny on the spot to tap it home. Really good play there from Detroit City FC. Who will be more comfortable with a 
3-1 advantage. I said it before Lake St. Clair got their goal. Now they have a mountain to climb. They only have a few minutes to do so. Game getting a little bit physical here. Blasted forward by James Lee. A few touches. Zion Beaton still running to get that one. It's going to go out of play. See a little bit tender movement there. By the Lake St. Clair midfielder. Another substitution here for Lake St. Clair FC. Looks like JB. Grasape, Cousin High School, Schoolcraft College. Midfielder coming in to replace Gustavo Barros, who put an absolute shift up top in this one for Lake St. Clair FC. Not really a lot of chances from him, but just running and trying to get something going. Leading the line for Lake St. Clair. We creep up on the 90th minute here. Can't imagine there's going to be too much stoppage time. Looks like fourth official signals for three minutes of added time. Waits. Finds Brady Walker. Brady Walker, a few touches right on the touchline here. Is eventually muscled off the ball. It'll be a throw in for Detroit City FC. So we enter stoppage time in the second half of this one. Detroit City FC cruising right now. 3-1 advantage. Zion Beaton subscribed to the theory that fortune favors the bold and goes for a really ambitious curler from outside the area. That'll take more time off the clock. Detroit City FC comfortable in where they stand right now. A 3-1 advantage for LaRouge. Goals coming from Brady Walker. Shion Soga. And now Zion Beaton. Sam Harsh is going to run with that one and take even more time off the clock. It's been a really comfortable night for Detroit City FC. A little bit, maybe 10-minute spell there where they had their backs against the wall, but they didn't, didn't panic. They James Lee, that was a really rare mistake out of James Lee. Led to their goal. You got to say, if you're Coach Javi Bautista, you got to be satisfied with the Resolve your team showed to get through that difficult stretch. We see Mutana been really positive since coming on. Good ball to find Steinwasher. Steinwasher chips it into the path of Zion Beaton, who was offside. But a really, really good combination there. Zion Beaton got to be pleased with that goal. Pointing to the crest, too. That's what Center 23's team's all about. You want to have good showings to try to maybe get your name out of the eyes of. Trevor James or get asked to go to training. Something of that sort. You want to make an impact with this under-23 side. Harshi wins the ball back. Zion Beaton is going to be played through. He, referee puts offside flag up again. I, I think that was the second time tonight Zion Beaton's kind of been on the harsher end of a really tight offside call. See it here. Oh, he, really decent call there by the line judge. It was pretty tight, but... It's, oh, and that uh, uh, really tight. But Detroit City FC have numbers forward here. Zion Beaton finds Steinwasher. Steinwasher now running into the area. A few touches here. Steinwasher takes a left-footed effort. Never got the shot off. And it goes out for a corner as both Detroit City FC players here. A little bit winded. Zuge and Steinwasher. Steinwasher is going to wish he did better with that one. Probably deserved a goal. For the Zion beaten tap in, beat the goalkeeper, just couldn't beat that far post. Pretty comfortable here for Detroit City FC. Have to be on the business end of three minutes of stoppage time here. Probably going to let him take the corner and then call it quits. Corner coming in. Steinwasher gets to it, heads it down. LeBlanc claims. He's going to throw it forward. Referee. Glances down at his watch once, really quickly. Lake St. Clair, ball one back. Bounces a few times. Zuge, unable to really control it. Goes off his knee. Referee, three beeps of the whistle. Three goals for Detroit City FC, and ultimately three points for LaRouge in tonight's Midwest Premier League matchup. It was a really comfortable 3 nothing for Detroit City FC. Coach Javi Bautista. Has to be pleased with what his team showed tonight. You see the third goal scorer there, Zion Beaton. 
Probably was unlucky a few times on a few offside situations, but eventually got his goal, being in the right place at the right time. See, thanks to the officials as the teams go through and thank each other. I'm sure Zion Beaton's having a few words right now with the line judge, who's laughing him off a little bit. You see Zion Beaton having a conversation there. Got man of the match. Number 99 with Seam Mutana, who made a huge impact after coming on. Did really well to get him behind. Set up. Shion Soga had the assist on Shion Soga's second goal. That really clever flick through in behind Lake St. Clair's back line. Zion Beaton. Second goal of the season for Detroit City FC's under 23 side. Of course, really, really dominant display here for Detroit City FC. Getting three points, remain flawless in the Midwest Premier League. Thank you guys so much here for joining us on the Detroit City FC YouTube channel. Detroit City FC wins three to one. I've been Jared Mackey. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice night.